All right, this is the second part. Well, it will not hurt your eyes when you look at it. Just like when you look at a light bulb. It hurts your eyes, don't it? Think about it. Put two and two together. It's doing the same thing the sun does because it's a light source. It's an artificial, big, huge light in the sky. Bigger than anything on this earth. It's the biggest light in the earth, on this earth. And it affects your eyes more because it's bigger than any other light that we have. That's sitting up there. You're looking at this thing every single day. That's what you're looking at. That's why it hurts your eyes. That's why a small light bulb will hurt your eyes too. You look at it long enough. It will affect your eyes. Just do it yourself. Look at a light bulb. And tell me you will not see the same thing when you look at the sun. Because you, after you look at a light bulb, a small little light bulb in the house, it's real bright, real white, extremely white. And when you look from it, you will see that little same dot coming from that small light bulb, the effects from it. You look at the sun, it will do the same exact thing. When you look from the sun, you will see a small little light, like you will see a small little thing following your eyeballs. Because you stare at the sun too long or something. And it hurts your eyes too when you look at the sun. And it hurts your eyes when you look at a light bulb. When you get close to a light bulb, guess what happens? You can't even touch it because it's real hot. When a light be on for so long, it draws heat. This thing been on for so long, it's drawing a lot of heat. And it's hotter than it was before. That's why it's getting hotter. Because it's been on for so long. It's flashing for a reason. It's probably going out. Because you all know when a light gets brighter. That means it's about to, it's about to go out. You know, it's about to blow out, pretty much. When our light bulbs get brighter, it blows out days later, right? Or weeks later, it will blow out. And probably less than that. By this technology they have in the sky, the sun, being in their hands, being the most high-tech thing they have, it might take years for it to blow out. That's why they, they they trying to keep it alive. That's why they tell you that the sun is uh, is going to go out soon. It's going to draw out within thousands of years. No, it's not. It's about to happen soon. That's why the sun is not going to give us light anymore. They tell you all that it's going to explode and all this other stuff. No, it's not going to explode. It's just going to go out. Because it's nothing but just light. It's going to, it's going to, give, it's going to give up. It's, it's going to blow out. You all need to wake up. This is real serious because what you've been taught was a lie. The sun is not a ball of fire. The sun is an artificial light. Rays of light in the sky. It's so powerful it draws heat from it. And it's getting hotter because it's been on for so long. It's getting hotter. I can't believe this, but this is true. Now, they might try to Take this video down, or whatever they might do. Because, I don't know if y'all know this, but my other And also people, uh, the sun could be losing heat as well, because by it being a light source, it could be losing heat. So, that's another thing I wanted to say. Which I'll get my point. They not let me access all my videos anymore. So I have to type it in in order to find them. They took my videos away from me. 
You took them all away from me. So they might do the same thing with this video, because I'm telling the truth. I'm telling y'all, we don't live in what y'all think we live in. And what I mean is, we don't live on the ball earth. We don't. This stuff is not real. It's a projection. It is nine in the morning, and I woke up from the dream because of it. It was too intense for me. It was too much, and it felt so real, but it all makes sense. Everything that was shown to me, it was shown everything. The things that we don't see. Now, what I'm about to say to you guys is gonna make sense. The things that we don't see that happens in the sky is what he was showing me. He was showing me things that we do not see every single day. He was showing me things that happens all the time, but we always miss it because we don't look in the sky. And then the fact that it's always cloudy out, so you're not gonna see everything all the time because the clouds is blocking everything for a reason. You ever wonder why the clouds be blocking everything all the time in the sky? Why it's always cloudy? Yeah, they're creating these clouds. But why are they always, always doing it rapidly? They're hiding everything that's going on in the sky. They don't want y'all to recognize it. They don't want y'all to see what's going on. So they hiding it. it. Ain't got nothing to do with no planet Nibiru. And you know what? Planet Nibiru is not even real. It's not real. They want y'all to think it's real so y'all can focus on that. But it's not what y'all think it is. Because that was the case. Everybody will be seeing it right now as we speak. I don't. I never seen it in my life. I never seen it. But you got people out there that seen it. How are you seeing it if I'm not seeing it? How are you seeing it if everybody else not seeing it? If the earth is flat, everybody should be seeing the same thing. If the earth is flat. It, it doesn't make any sense. And the earth is flat. It's not no globe. It's not. The pictures that y'all be seeing on Google, it's all just fake. It's animated. It's animation from a computer. Every single photo they have is not real. They have not one single picture of the earth. Y'all need to wake up. How could you all not be tired of living on this earth? How could y'all just be okay with what they doing? Would they lying to y'all and everything else? How could y'all be okay with this stuff? How could this not drive y'all mad? How could this not want to let y'all just wake up and ask questions and do something about it? How could y'all want to just live on this earth knowing that y'all living in a lie? How could y'all just live in a lie? How could y'all just be slaves of these men and women that's over this earth? How could y'all allow this to happen? We all know y'all can stop it. Y'all can, we can stop this. How could this not drive y'all crazy? We don't have to go through this stuff. When are y'all going to wake up and come against these people? When? The longer y'all be like this, the more it's going to stay like this. Nothing ain't going to never change until you make a change. And I mean everybody. Not just one person, not just me, not just a few of us. But all of you need to wake up and come together and ask questions, man. Instead of just being scared and going to work, going to school and everything, y'all need to ask questions, man. Because what y'all live in is a lie. Everything is a lie. The moon y'all look at is a lie. The sky y'all look at is a lie. And the sun y'all looking at is a lie. Everything around you is not what it seems. We should not be working. We should not be paying for anything. Our kids should not be going to school getting brainwashed. We shouldn't be watching TV looking at brainwashed stuff. Corrupting our minds. We shouldn't be going through this stuff. We are all hypnotized. Do you know that? We're hypnotized. And y'all ain't never gonna wake up until y'all wake up from the hypnotic, that 
hypnosis that they got y'all under. You wanna know how y'all hypnotize? Going to school. What do y'all think they made Get Out? That movie Get Out? What do y'all think they made that movie Get Out? They let you know that you're hypnotized. You're all hypnotized. We're all hypnotized until you wake up. You once you see the truth, it will drive you nuts to the point where you want to kill yourself. Just like on the movie where people actually, well, one guy killed himself in that movie. When he woke up and realized the truth, what he know, he killed himself. Y'all need to wake up. Y'all need to wake up out of this hyp- hyp- hypnosis that they, they got y'all under. Watching too much TV, drugs, drinking, and you know, and going to school, going to work. They're hypnotizing all of you. The ones that's awake is fully of, uh, aware of what's going on. But you all hypnotized, man. It's the truth. You're all hypnotized. Look at that movie Get Out. Look at what they're doing. You got some people that's acting proper, that that's acting totally different from how they normally act. You know, they going to work and they enjoying it somehow, you know, and um, being a, a sex slave and um, all this other different personalities. You have to put two and two together. That's what's going on on this earth. Instead of it, instead of it being in one place on that movie, because he was just in that house seeing these black people, you know, they acting different. All these people in that movie was different. Everybody was all hypnotized. They're doing this hypnotician stuff from them. these movies. These TV shows, everything. You can never imagine. They've been hypnotizing you guys since the, you were born. All the way to now. To the point where it's hard to get out of it. And once you awaken from it, it hurts. Because you know what you live in. You know what you live in is not real. And once you realize what you really, what you live in is not real, you start to see the truth around you. You start to have these dreams that you never had before. Dreams you you would think you would never have. Dreams that you don't even think about and you just have it out of nowhere. It's a reason why the Bible says to, you know, uh, something about the truth. Uh, yeah, about the truth will set you free. It's a reason why the Bible says that. Y'all are not getting the point of what it's actually mean. Is the reason why it says the truth shall set you free. It's not just about Jesus Christ and everything else. Y'all need to wake up and realize the earth and everything around you is not what you think it is. It's fake. And once you realize that and wake up from that, we can make a change. They got us stuck on this one island. There's more islands out there, you guys. What do y'all think they going to the Antarctic for? The Antarctic is where you can be free at. But they want y'all to think that it's just nothing. That it's just cold and everything else. You have to understand there's way more lands on this earth. The earth is way bigger than what y'all think. It's not small. It's bigger. They want to keep y'all in this small part of the earth. They don't want y'all to know about the other islands. Because they don't want y'all to be free. And y'all always say... Well, if the earth is flat, what's the difference, okay? So, y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. If the earth is flat, there's more lands. And if there's more lands, which means you can be free. As in, not paying anything. Not working for no man. We can go to other islands and be free. That's 
the point. Y'all say, well, what's the point? Okay, it's not going to change anything. You know what? It's not going to change anything because you're not going to do anything about it. That's why it's not going to change. Because you accept this hypnotism, this hypnotized stuff they've done to you. You accept it. You're going to keep working for them. You're going to go... You're going to keep going to school and get more hypnotized. You're going to keep watching TV and get more hypnotized. You're watching all these TVs and everything else, not even realizing you're being hypnotized. Because when you're hypnotized, when you're under hypnosis, you don't even know it. Until they wake you up. Until they snap their fingers. Until they flash some light on your eyes. Until you hear a, a certain noise that will activate the, hyp- the, the hypnosis to wake you up. Or you, so, or, or if somebody tell you the truth as what's going on around you and you just wake up from it, you have different things that will trigger your hypnosis to wake you up. And once you wake up, you'll start to cry and it will hurt you to the point where you wanna leave this earth. And when I say that, I mean kill yourself or have someone to kill you or say you just want to just go. You just want to leave. You hope you die in your sleep. And you know what? I've been saying stuff like that myself. I'm never going to kill myself, but I'm telling you guys, it would drive you mad when you know the truth. When you wake up like I am and a few others out there that's awakened from hypnosis, that's what it means by waking up. The reason you all still sleep is because you're under hypnosis. That's why the creator, God, or whatever you want to call it, it's not God, but Yeshua tells you all to wake up, wake up, wake up, you want to know why he kept telling you that? It's because you're under hypnosis. That's why you need to wake up. The longer you sleep, the more you're going to be under hypnosis. He tells you to wake up because you're under hypnosis. Think about it. When you're under hypnosis, what are you doing? What is it? Your sleep. When you wake up from hypnosis, you see the truth. Just because you're up, out and about, working, watching TV, doing the same stuff every single day, going to work for men. When you wake up fully, just, just because you're up right now as we speak, you're going to sleep. You're waking up doing the same thing every single day. You're being hypnotized to do these things every day day you've been hypnotized to do the same thing to live the same life every day to find work to find school to do this to do what they want you to do it's what they want you to do they're hypnotizing you to do what they want you to do they're hypnotizing you without you even knowing you're being hypnotized do you get what I'm saying to you they're controlling you to do these things without you knowing it. You think you're doing your own thing, you're not. You've been hypnotized. That's why the Lord is telling you to wake up because you're being hypnotized right now as we speak. You've been hypnotized. And you don't even realize it. That's why you only believe certain things. That's why you don't want to believe outside the box of things that we tell you because you're scared, you fear God. That's why he tells you to wake up. You're being hypnotized. And you know what, all the stuff I'm saying is all coming to me as I speak. As I'm speaking, it's coming to me. Y'all need to wake up. Wake up from your hypnosis. Wake up. 
Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Wake up. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Wake up from hypnosis. You've been hypnotized right now. You've been asleep for so long. Once you wake up, you know what else? Why do y'all think these elite people say their favorite thing they always say to you? You can't handle the truth. You're asleep. You can't handle the truth. So we're hypnotizing you to not see the truth. But until you wake up, you'll see the truth. And once you wake up, the reason they say y'all can't handle it is because when you wake up, you either gonna wanna kill yourself or you're gonna go crazy. Just think about what I just said. Why do y'all think people are out there killing themselves? Why do y'all think people out there are going crazy and y'all think they're insane in the head or something? No, it's not that, it's because they know the truth. When they woke up from hypnosis, they went crazy. They killing their own families. They killing themselves. They're not crazy in the head, it's because they're waking up from the truth. Because they woke up from hypnosis. And when they woke up, they realized what they were living in, they realized everything was a lie around them. And they didn't want to live in it no more. So they killed a they killed a family and they killed themselves so they could try to free themselves. They felt that was the only way to be free. That's when you look at the news, you see people as, as in the families being killed by their own family. You have a father, a mother, and a daughter, and a son. And then one day, the father just wakes up, killed the whole entire family, and then killed themselves. Y'all seen things like that in my career. Y'all seen things like that happen, right? And y'all say, that man was sick. That woman was sick. No, they're not sick. Yes, it's bad what they've done to their family and themselves. But you want to know why they did it? It's because they woke up from hypnosis. And then you would have their wife say, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Stop it. And the kids would go crazy and still out there because of what their father's about to do. They don't understand why the father's doing that. But the father understands. Because he realized his kids, his wife, and himself is living in a lie. And he can't take that anymore. And he just take all of them out. Thinking that he's going to go into paradise with them. It's really sad. That's why these people are killing their families. And then they kill themselves afterwards. Y'all see these things happening on YouTube. Y'all see these things happening on the news. They're killing themselves. And, they're, and they kill their family first and they kill themselves afterwards. Because they woke up from hypnosis. One day they wake up. And they go crazy. Just think about what I'm saying. It makes sense, don't it? It make a lot of sense, doesn't it? I'm not to the point where I'm gonna just do something like that. I can't do something like that. I can't. I can't do that. That's just sick. But I know why they're doing it. It's not right that they're doing it. But I know the reason why they're doing it, and it's because they woke up from from, from hypnosis. They woke up. They're not crazy. They just woke up. They put out the truth. And then with their family to live in the last, so they killed their whole family and they killed themselves. That's what you're seeing on these, you know, on, on the news and on YouTube. That's what you're seeing. And also, with all them bankers that was dying, that's killing themselves too. It's because they're waking up from hypnosis to themselves. And they kill themselves. The people that kill themselves know the truth. 
That's why people are killing themselves because they want to set themselves free from this earth. Because they realize the truth. This is why it hurts me so bad. Because I know the truth. I know what we live in. It's a lie. That's why I go crazy sometimes. I get tired as earth. But I have no choice but to live it. Because I'm not gonna take my life like everybody else have done. I'm not. But that's the truth. You're all under hypnosis. That's why y'all not waking up. Because you're under hypnosis. Y'all want to stay under it. Y'all, that's why y'all don't want to listen to anybody. You want to know why you don't want to listen to it? It's not because you don't want to listen to it. It's because they're keeping... It's because they're doing it to... They, they're controlling you not to listen to us. That's why you don't want to listen. Because they're controlling you not to listen. You're under hypnosis. And when you're under hypnosis, you're being controlled. And the things you hear from people, you'll brush it off. Because they're, hypno they're hypnotizing you not to listen. It's not that you don't want to listen. It's because you've been hypnotized not to listen. You have to overcome that and listen and take it in seriously. Just think about that, man. Y'all know what I'm saying is right. Y'all know what I'm saying is true. When you're being hypnotized, you hear... What you want to hear is because they are hypnotizing you to hear what they want you to hear. There's a limit. That's why you'll say, oh, that's crazy talk. It's this, it's that. That's crazy. I don't believe that. It don't make any sense. No, it does make sense. But they're controlling you not to listen to certain things. Think about it. I love y'all. I truly love you, but you need to wake up from hypnosis. Wake up. Snap out of it. It's the truth. Wake up. God bless you all. Okay, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I'm going to make another video after this one. This is part two of the video. I'm going to make a part three. And I'm going to speak for myself, not the video anymore, because the video ended. So, God bless you all, and um, I'm going to be recording another video.